In this video, I will be showing the final player that we are going to build. So here I've opened up the project and you can see the player. Starting from the basics, we have a simple play toggle button. And when we press, the video starts playing. And if we press again, it's going to stop. This is one way to toggle the video. Another way we can toggle is by hitting the spacebar, just like in YouTube. And the last way we can do the same thing is by clicking the video element itself. Next, we have our sound toggle button, which mutes and unmutes our video. And right next to it, there is a slider to adjust the actual volume. We will be writing this component from scratch. It will have a click and drag support for good user experience. Next to the slider, we have a simple time label that shows the current time and the duration of the video. And the last element on the right is the full screen toggle button. And it goes to full screen and as you can see everything works in full screen as well. And the last UI element is our seeker. It uses the same slider component that we are going to write for the sound controls. So it also has a click and drag support, it shows the buffered amount, and also we get a nice spinner on the center of our player whenever we seek to some part of the video that was not loaded. At the end of this course, we will build the exact same player and I will show you step by step and explain exactly how everything works. So with that said, see you in the first development chapter.